Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video where I have a new filming angle. This week I got a new bookshelf, my third bookshelf in this room alone. I have four bookshelves in total and I have no room anymore for any more books. So after this, when all of my bookshelves are full, I'm just gonna have to do a cleanup because the amount of books that I have is just insane. As you can read from this little thing right here, today I will be sharing with you guys my July wrap up. show you guys all the books that I read this month in July. I want you to know that I have two reading vlogs which I uploaded in which I talked about all the books that I read in July. So I have one from when I was in France. I read two books back then and I finished four books after that which will be in my other reading vlog. So check those videos out if you want to. Today I will share all of those books with you guys in one video. Let's start with the first book that I read in July and that book is Blood for Blood by Ryan Grouding which is the sequel to Wolf by Wolf. I won't tell you guys anything about this book like plot wise because that will be a spoiler for the first book. The first book is all about Yael who is a really badass girl. She has been in like a working camp when she was a young girl and she has had a lot of experiments on her and because of that she can like skin shift so she can change into other people's faces. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna impersonate one of the previous winners in a motor race which is being held every single year by Hitler. She's gonna impersonate a previous winner to become like a legit, how do you say that, participant in the race. And if she wins the motor race, which she really wants to do, she's gonna meet Hitler and she wants to kill him. Because, which I didn't say, is that Hitler won World War II in this world and he's still like how do you say that, reigning over all the different countries and Yael wants to meet him, kill him, and then hopefully things will be over. I read the sequel to Wolf by Wolf. I enjoyed this one. I definitely didn't enjoy it as much as the first one and I believe I gave this one three out of five stars or three and a half maybe. I don't know, where's my reading journal? <laughs> I give this one three and a half out of five stars because I still really did like the characters and I was still quite invested in the story. But for me, this book felt so much slower than the first one, which I've heard so many other people on Goodreads disagree with my opinion. I'm just happy that I finished a duology again, so like a series duology kind of thing, and I'm proud of myself because I always start things, but I never really finish them. <laughs> After that, I read The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, and I'm so happy I did this because I read this for the Basically Readathon. This was a day long long readathon hosted by Brit, which is one of my booktube friends here. So of course I had to like support her readathon and her challenge was to read a book which has been on your TBR for a long time and this one has been on my TBR for over two years and it has won so many awards and I felt so guilty for not having read this book yet. I did it on vacation and I'm so happy. This is all about um, Star and she gets involved in this police shooting her best friend even though he did nothing and it's all about African-American culture and the police shooting problems which are still going on and how Star deals with it all because she's the sole witness of the shooting and is she coming out with her story or not and she has to think about so many things which is just so sad and complicated. It's just so sad that a person like her has to go through this all because of people who do not understand that everyone is equal even though people look different. It's really impactful. It's a really good story. I didn't like fell in love with it as anyone else but I really enjoyed it and I think it is a very important book so I gave it four out of five stars. Oh uh, next up this uh one of my new favorite books of this year is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I read Daisy Jones and the six by this author which is a book that came out this year and I surprisingly enough really enjoyed it and I wasn't expecting to enjoy it because it's adult fiction and I've said this so many times already so if you watch my videos on a regular basis I'm sorry that you're gonna hear this for the 182nd time very specific number but true even though I'm an adult adult fiction always intimidates me I'm always kind of scared that I won't like it that my mind is not adult enough to like fully enjoy a story like that but after after reading Daisy Jones and the Six, I just wanted to read another adult fiction book and especially one which was written also by Taylor Jenkins Reid and I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book. You basically follow the life story of this old Hollywood star called Evelyn Hugo. You basically follow her like extravagant Hollywood life from the 50s to the 80s. She's married seven men. I just loved the way that the story was worked out. Uh, her writing style gripped me from the beginning again and just the way that Taylor Jenkins Reid writes her characters and her story. It's so interesting and I want to know every single detail and just ah oh, I'm 
I think Taylor Jenkins Reid might be one of my new favorite authors from this year on. I just cannot wait to read her other books and this one blew my mind again and I felt so incredibly emotional at the end of the story and I couldn't cry because I was in a public train. <laughs> but I gave this one 5 out of 5 stars and would definitely recommend this to everyone. It's so good! Then the reading rush started and I started off the reading rush by reading The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. It's been such a long time since I've read A Small Book again and this one is just over 200 pages and this one was also on my TBR for a really long time. It's about Charlie, a 15 year old boy who goes to freshman year in high school and he is very like an introvert. Plus he's also also having like mental struggles and you basically follow his life at that point and how he starts to make friends in like high school and how he deals with family stuff and it's all written in like a diary form. What I want to say, I've been trying to say this for over five times already, but the thing is that the writing style could be something which can be very hit or miss. It's really simple. The way that Charlie thinks, he explains everything in a very simplistic way. It can either read really juvenile because I'm thinking like Charlie is 15. I feel like a main character who's 15 would be a little bit more mature than Charlie is acting or like writing her story right now. But also because of that writing style, I felt like Charlie could explain a really complicated situation in a very simplistic way, which would be really easy to understand, which I also really Really enjoyed. Surprisingly enough, I really enjoyed the story and I didn't expect it to, to be honest. I was like, oh, we shall see how I will think of this, but I definitely gave it a four out of five stars because I've had so many great quotes from this book. Yeah, I really, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> oh my god, that I'm holding up this book is just absolutely insane. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I've been reading this book for one and a half years and the last hundred pages have been unread for over six months. I decided to just pick up the audiobook and just start listening to it and just stop listening to it until I finish the book. So I read the last hundred pages during one day of the reading rush. I'm glad I did because I just wanted to be done with this story. Even though it's a very like classic adventure story, I really enjoyed the beginning of the book but after halfway through I just completely lost interest and I just wanted to be over with it. But I gave this one a three out of five stars and I'm just so glad that I'm done with it. <laughs> and then the last book that I finished in July and also that I finished during the reading rush is James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl. I have this giant collection of like Roald Dahl's books in my box set and I'm so happy that I have it because I love every single one of Roald Dahl's books. This was one that I still hadn't read and it was really good for like a challenge during the reading rush so I picked it up and it's all about James and he uh, has been living with us awful aunts after his parents have died and this weird man comes up with a bag of kind of green weird beans-ish things. James accidentally drops the bag and then all of a sudden this peach on the peach tree starts growing and it gets like ginormous like extremely big and James also meets some like insect friends and they go on an adventure and it was lovely. So I gave this one a four out of five stars. And then the book that I started reading in July and I literally have not read in five days so I should definitely continue on with this right now is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson and this cover is shiny. This is a fantasy YA story which I believe just came out in July and everyone is raving about it. I think it's really difficult to explain what it's about so look it up on Goodreads if you want to know what the summary is of this book. I'm like a quarter of the way through and I really just want to continue on reading it. I've just heard nothing but amazing things about this so I'm also kind of nervous because until so far I'm liking it but I'm not like obsessed with it. I think that I just need to get into the story a bit more but this is insane guys because I've like read or started seven books in July and I honestly cannot remember the last time that I've read or started this many books. It's just insane and I'm really proud of myself. I don't know how August will go but we shall see about that. So yeah, these are all the books that I read or that I started in July. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these books or what other books you guys have read. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!